worst weapon of the game. Hey, David, you're the cards. I want to read. Oh, or, it's I guess me? All got yes. It. Yep. Um, yes. Uh, let's see. <laughs> I did. See? I told you. First time. No, this is the first time I played this online. All, all the other times I've been sitting around. That's right. He's table missed out every time we've people. played. I do not know with which weapons World War III will be fought, but World War IV will be fought with pedophiles regifting funky fresh rhymes Word. or a death ray Word. now uh a, a death ray would be the classical choice and pedophiles do sound appealing but i'm gonna have to go with uh what my heart says and go with funky fresh rhymes them beats though i i would have chosen it too look at that he's rolling over the competition what gives me uncontrollable gas Flying a rifle into the air is while balls deep in a squiddling hog. Squiddling in other words, for me. Texans, Tuesday. <laughs> Free samples. If I eat too many, for sure. Uh, roadhead. Oh, that's a bad time to have uncontrollable gas. <laughs> 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 while you're down there. Huh? And passive aggression. Well, you know, you bottle it in. It has to come out somehow. Dang yes! It, Look at him go! <laughs> Let's get Tyler. You well, can't get this one. Was he Tyler? All right. <laughs> <laughs> right out the gate. All right. What's the next Happy Meals toy? Auschwitz. Mm. First, we'll make you that free. one's a whole playpen. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, Stephen Hawking talking dirty. Just pull um, the string. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you must construct additional pylons. And a windmill full of corpses. Hot. Well... I'm going to do it by shock factor here. Oh. <laughs> oh. There, you, there you go. <laughs> Beaten by Auschwitz once again. <laughs> In a world ravaged by African children, our only solace is a gypsy curse. I think it was called Snakes ravaged. on a Train, wasn't it? In a world ravaged by mouth herpes, our only solace is growing a pear. Oh. In a world ravaged by sexy pillow fights. Why would the world be ravaged by sexy pillow fights? <laughs> because you just can't get to work in the morning. About, in a world ravaged by... <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Say it. Say it. <laughs> For the record, I'm not racist. In a world ravaged by... That's what makes it well, funny. Well, then how come you're okay just in the it. African <laughs> children? <laughs> African children? Fine. Black people? Boo. Uh huh. You see how it is? You see the line I is? see how it is, Shinto. We're learning a lot about you today. <laughs> yes! Jesus Christ. Recently discovered a primitive tribe that worships Sean Penn, uh, that worships friends who eat all the snacks. Those mm. bastards. Steven. Mm. That Steven. worship <laughs> keeping Christ in Christmas. Uh, and a primitive tribe that worships Scientology. <laughs> um, <laughs> well, last two are awesome. Well, the tribe that worships Scientology is, already is pretty primitive. Yeah, I'm going to go with Sean Penn. <laughs> um, because, <Woo>! yeah. <laughs> I'm giving up a mating display for Lent. <laughs> Only one. I'm giving up picking up girls at the abortion clinic. I'm giving up roofies. No, I'm you're not giving... giving up ingesting them, or am I giving up? I, or am I, I imagine giving you're, up you're giving just giving them, giving them up. Okay, uh, for Lent, for the next two weeks, no roofies. <laughs> and I am giving up man meat. No, oh, my man witch. <laughs> <laughs> After three hours of playing with balls, can you give up the man meat? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a bitch, I'm a lover, I'm a child, I'm the humbler. Hamburglar. <laughs> I'm tasteful side boob. I'm wiping her butt. <laughs> I'm a Kool-Aid man. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just picturing uh, that song being sung and him just bashing through the wall. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Hey, it works. <laughs> Although in terms of how it goes with the music, I really liked wiping her butt. <laughs> I like how the hamburger actually worked into rhyme. Okay, due to a PR fiasco, Walmart no longer offers an M16 assault rifle. <laughs> Nor do they offer farting and walking away. They are completely out of stock on several Michael Keatons, and they just can't afford to stock any more saxophone solos. 
You can only walk out with one Michael Keaton and you will like it. <laughs> this is what happens when you raise the minimum wage, am I right? That's what people want. They want action. <laughs> Just because I'm most curious about how this one would become a PR fiasco. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. I got 99 problems, but Bill Cosby ain't one. Don't. <laughs> I had a couple different choices for this one. I hope I picked the right one. You never do. Well, uh, my oh. three awesome points begs to differ. Awesome. I got 99 problems, oh, but former President George W. Bush ain't one of them. He's I got 99 old. problems, but penis envy ain't one of them. I got 99 problems, but erectile dysfunction ain't one of them. Holy contrast, Batman. <laughs> <laughs> I got 99 problems, but the Holy Bible ain't one of them. I don't know. Are they kind of? Aren't they kind of synonyms? I always love this card as it implies that the cards you don't pick are problems. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes. Oh. <laughs> and Daddy, why is Mommy crying? Oh, which level of asshole do I feel like being? The eternal question of modern man. Daddy, why is Mommy crying? Another goddamn vampire movie. <laughs> a super massive black hole. Doing it in the butt. <laughs> 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 or poorly timed Holocaust jokes. As opposed to properly timed. <laughs> Holocaust jokes. Yes, of course. <laughs> well, we've already had one. It won the first round. Oh, uh, yes. <laughs> George Carlin isn't dead. His spirit circles the earth. Yeah, doing it in the butt. Yeah. What? What? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. How did I lose my virginity? Homeless people. Dog pile Nazis. behind the oil can. <laughs> uh, explosions. And teaching a robot to love. I really need to watch Danger 5. <laughs> Why thank you very this, much? I'm sorry, but in a in the weirdest possible way, this would be an interesting romantic comedy. Step one, a look see. Step two, copping a feel. Step three, <laughs> profit. <laughs> Step shame. one, Bill Nye the Science Guy. Step Ooh, two, Lord. child abuse. Step three, profit. <laughs> <laughs> oh Lord. <laughs> so the Apple story. <laughs> Step one, same-sex ice dancing. Step two, friction. Step three, profit. <laughs> Step one, frolicking. Step two, daddy issues. Step three, profit. Yeah, I gotta go with Bill Nye the Science Guy simply because I'm expecting having the mental picture of him suffering something along the lines of Bill Cosby. <laughs> I'm, I'm picturing Bill Nye, not the actual Bill Nye, but when dinosaurs had their ripoff of Bill Nye. You know, oh, the, yeah. We're going to need another Timmy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What would Grandma find disturbing but oddly charming? Explosive decompression. Kurt Cobain's death. A vajazzled VJJ. Or eaten the last known bison. Appa, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Siskel and Ebert have panned global warming as poorly conceived and sloppily executed. Uh, a bebop it trademark symbol. Boppets are <laughs> so massively sloppily executed. Siskel and Ebert have panned euphoria trademark symbol by Calvin Klein as poorly conceived and sloppily executed. Or <laughs> and Siskel and Ebert have panned the Underground Railroad. <laughs> They could have been a little more efficient. That's all I'm trying to say. Poorly conceived <laughs> and sloppily executed. Uh, yes. <laughs> yes. When I'm in prison, I'll have soup that is too hot smuggled in. Uh, you can use that as a way to injure a guard and take his case. But again, you yeah, can only but... smuggle it in up your butt. Oh. <laughs> okay. Um, smuggling oh, too much hair gel. All these things. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Three out of the four things are hot. Hot pockets and hot cheese. Great minds run in small What's circle. worse is all four of them are liquidy, <laughs> runny, and a little too slimy. Oh, the oh hair gel and the hot pockets would at least be contained in some kind of plastic, right? Not necessarily. Um, I'm just going to do this. 
Eeny, meeny, because meeny, I like cheese. Yay! Oh. That's all I got. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it. That's why it's not a completely embarrassing loss. <laughs> white people <laughs> like white people. <laughs> white people like Dick Cheney. <laughs> white people like a moment of silence. White people like an ugly face. Yes. Uh, now we have three, four, five, six, seven I going passed, down the board. I passed up on white people like the hardworking Mexican. <laughs> Jim Carrey can do a dead-on impression of the deformed. I think he actually did on In Living Color. Dead-on impression of being rich. I think he did in uh, Liar Liar. He can do a dead-on impression of laying an egg. Well, actually, that was Schwarzenegger in uh, Junior. And he can do... <laughs> He can do a dead-on impression of capturing Newt Gingrich and forcing him to dance in a monkey suit. While someone reads him one of his tedious oh, yeah. history books. <laughs> but also because it's Jim Carrey and I can picture all the facial expressions. Oh, I yes! gave it to Tyler! Uh, yes! Tyler wins. I finally did something with my life. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to do next? Uh, probably cry. <laughs> and... <laughs> So much for Disney World. <laughs>